last story, we heard about Moses, who was drawn from the water and went to go live in the palace with the daughter of the Pharaoh. He grew up very comfortably, in a life of luxury, but the entire time felt like something was off, and he couldn't quite put his finger on it. Until one day, he just couldn't take it anymore. He ran away from the palace, leaving his life of luxury behind, and ran to the countryside to become a shepherd, where he would take care of a flock of sheep. He was trying to escape the pain that was bestowed upon the Hebrew people, the people that had birthed him. But he didn't know what he could do about it. And so one day, in a hot, dry desert, he was off looking for a sheep, because, you know, sheep, they tend to run away sometimes. And here he was, in the open plains, looking for a sheep, when all of a sudden, he sees something so strange. Flames of fire came from a bush, but the bush did not burn up. Moses squinted his eyes, looking around the bush one way, and then the other. Suddenly, a loud voice cried out, Moses! Moses! He was frightened, but he responded rather timidly, Here I am. Take off your shoes, thundered the voice. The place where you are standing is holy ground. Moses kicked off his sandals keeping his eyes on the flaming bush. I am the God of your ancestors, the voice said. Moses hid his face. He was afraid to look at God. I have heard my people crying in Egypt. My people are hurting, and I have come to save them. Wow, thought Moses. How will God do this? I am glad that it's happening. I've wanted them to be free. Go. I am sending you to Pharaoh to ask him to let my people go. Me? Who am I to go to the Pharaoh? Who am I to lead your people? I will be with you. So Moses trusted God. He was willing to do everything that God said. God would give him the words to say and the power to confront the Pharaoh and lead God's people out of Egypt. Moses is one of our great heroes of the Old Testament, and it wouldn't be long before everyone was stuck out in the desert. I'm getting ahead of myself. That's another story for another time, and I can't wait to tell you that one.